Hi, um, I haven't done a video in like three years, and I thought I'd do one as like an intro to like instruments I have, because I recently, I'm sorry about the shakiness, I'm actually holding this between my knees, it's my iPod, and so at least the film quality is better this time, but the quality of the film is not perfect. So I'm going to show like a couple of instruments because I had a request of one of my, um, one of the people I know said they would actually watch my videos if I did like ocarina, playing ocarina. So I thought I'd do like a show you the types of instruments I currently own. Um, four out of these are really cheap quality and I'm just going to give you a heads up on that because I don't want you to be like upset. I got these all for like eight bucks and under. Um, I play a better version of a different type of this instrument. So the first two instruments I'm going to show are ocarinas. I've got two different Peruvian ocarinas. This is a six hole ocarina and this is an eight hole ocarina. Peruvian, once again, the it's kind of shaped like a turtle shell kind of, and there's a whole bunch of different types of ocarinas out there. I got these each for five bucks at a random stand. It was like a fair trade stand giving people in different countries fair pay and stuff for the instruments and other assorted things they make. I got a couple of other things, like I got three flutes from there that are more like recorders kind of, and they're really, they have a really pretty sound. I'm going to warn you, these aren't actually well tuned, so I'm going to play them, but bear with me because they sound not fantastic. But I thought they were really pretty, they're painted well, um, they're hard, don't drop them, they'll break, please. Um, <laughs> even though they're five bucks, like, that's a lot of cleanup, and it was five bucks, and with both of these it was ten. So, um, this is how it sounds. As you can see, not well tuned, even if you... sounds odd and it might be my lack of knowledge with the Peruvian ocarina because it could go or some other different finger combinations to make proper noises but um, I personally just don't think it's tuned properly but um, if I'm wrong just leave down in the comments uh, show me a link to where I could actually play it right because I'd love to actually get this to sound very very pretty because I mean I did spend money on it but not like a ridiculous amount because I know ocarinas are expensive and I was silly goose and got really gung-ho over this and was like oh ocarinas and don't get excited especially if it's cheap if it's good quality though I mean congratulations um, here is the second one. This one has horses on it and it's really pretty. I actually got a different, another one, but that's for a friend. It has a wolf on it. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure where I put that one, but it's okay. Here we go. So. get a little bit more of a sound out of this you can um this one I think is better tuned I'm also probably playing it wrong I've looked up I've tried to look up different ways if you guys have like a video or like somewhere I can go and find how to play this better please um I'd love that but this one once again this is another Peruvian I really like it it's pretty <laughs> has a little I made this chord well not made the chord but like put the chord on there um, there's different knots you can use to make it adjustable. I've made adjustable ones on there. I actually have a mac necklace my boyfriend made for me that I put adjustable loop on. Every time the cord breaks, I just replace it. I have this giant thing of cord in my um, one drawer. Um, the next one is this pair of pan pipes, another one from a fair trade thing. I actually got four of these first four instruments at a um, youth conference called NCYC. It's the National Catholic Youth Conference. If you're Catholic and you can go, I highly suggest it. It's every two years. They have a lot of fair trade um, stands for, once again, the um, people in different countries 
who can get uh, fair pay for what they do, and so that way they can, um, I guess, survive and thrive, which is very, very important. So if you ever see fair trade tables anywhere, I highly recommend picking up stuff there just to help other people out. Um, so you go, you like can start at the end. And like, I'm not 100% sure they're tuned, but um, they're really cool. They have little pom-poms, which I think are cute. And you just, or like, you know when you um, play on like a soda bottle and like fill it up with a certain amount of liquid and then you just, or make noise with it. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, I really like this instrument. It's cute. It mainly just sits on my wall or on my dresser because I haven't found really that it's tuned and that I can play it well. So I haven't really tried too hard. If I can't succeed at it at first or close to beginning or try and figure out, like I watched a good couple of videos and a whole bunch of tutorials on how to play these for quite a while and then it's been three years and not exactly my thing. Um, next instrument I have is a flute. Um, sorry siblings. And this is also from a fair trade um, thing, fair trade table. And it's like carved really pretty. I actually have three of these. Two of them are for my younger siblings, like my youngest youngest siblings. And this I think was eight dollars. Um, this really pretty bird carved into it and a whole bunch of little designs. But you put your first three fingers and then oh your other three fingers of your other hand and then your thumb on the back, the hole in the back. Um, and you just it depends on how hard you blow. If you blow hard it creates a higher pitch. If you don't, um not so high. That's low pitch. And it's not, I'm not fantastic at playing this, gonna be completely honest. I haven't tried too ridiculously hard. Um, there's an instrument, another instrument I play, it's called the ocarina. It's um, not a Peruvian, it's a sweet potato, which I'm going to show you next. But um, it's a lot better quality, not to be fancy of these instruments. I'm really appreciative, especially for the price that I paid for them. Um, to even have them, like, um, the flute was $8, that one, and it looks a lot like a recorder, but I think it's more of a traditional flute, don't quote me on it, the flute was from Ecuador, this one, the pan pipes I think were also from Ecuador, and then the two, um, Peruvian ocarinas were from Peru. Okay, so the next instrument I'm going to show you is my ocarina. This is a 12-hole sweet potato ocarina has two thumb holes on the back, your sound hole, um, two sub holes, and then eight other holes. Um, and you just and it has a really pretty tone and then you can use your sub holes and go to D. That was a little off, sorry. Um, but it's C to, I think, F. Actually, G. Um, but it's a really pretty sound. This is really good quality, at least for my opinion. It's a really, really good quality one. Um, it's currently the only one Sweet Potato Ocarina that I have to compare it to other than videos and stuff I watch. But the sound quality seems pretty great. Um, I got this one from Chris for Christmas a couple of years ago. My parents got it for me off of eBay, I'm pretty sure. Um, I had been researching them for about two to three months and really wanted one, and I asked. I think this one was about $25, not ridiculously expensive. You can get ones for cheaper. I warn you, though, beware of quality. Quality is very important um, personally to me because I don't want to be playing like an instrument of low quality and then not be able to play it and then be, um, can't think of the word, but yeah, disappointed, I guess, in my lack of ability to play it when it might not be entirely my fault. Um, I just don't want to discourage new users, beginners, 